Hello and welcome back to another episode of Twisted Iron Projects. Today's video is going to be a little bit of a talking head video, but I hope you guys can at least set the phone down and keep listening because this here video is going to be about five gifts that you could give the blacksmith in your life. If you want to see what those five gifts are, make sure to stick around. Now as for gift number one, it's a pretty straightforward one and it goes back as a story for a long, long time now. But if you're bad throughout the year, Santa will give you a chunk of coal for Christmas. Now, as blacksmiths, sometimes we decide to become a little bit devious and misbehave on purpose just so Santa could give us that chunk of coal. So, that's gift number one, a good fuel source for whatever type of fuel that your blacksmith is using. Whether that be coal, charcoal, wood, or some type of gas, we always appreciate fuel. Now gift number two is more along the lines for those that are still beginning or looking at getting into blacksmithing. And that is a set of tong blanks as seen here. These tong blanks come from Kin's Custom Ironworks and they're quite a, they're a great beginner project and beginner kit because you get five sets of tongs for a very reasonable price and it comes complete with the tong blanks and the rivets and some instructions on how to do it. There's also instructions on YouTube on how to do it, a little bit more detail. But these are fantastic gifts because as blacksmiths, we always need a way to hold the hot metal. Because touching with your hands is not the best idea. And so tongs come in perfect. This here is a set of tongs that I've been using for quite some time now. And these are a set from the Rapid Tongs by Ken's Custom Ironworks. And even if they've already had this set, it's a good thing to get them anyways because it gives them more practice. They could also turn these tongs with a little bit of creativity in a different set, such as box jaw tongs. I made these from a simple set of the flat bit rapid tongs that come in this set. Like I said, Ken's Custom Iron Works is the ones that makes these tong blanks, and no way am I sponsored by them, but these are a great way to start out. Unfortunately, he does seem to sell out quite often, but just take a look around online. I definitely prefer if you support the gentleman that made these and came with this design, Ken's Custom Iron Works, but if he's out of stock, check around on Amazon. I'm pretty sure you could find something that is very similar to these. So that's gift number two, tong blanks and tongs. As for gift number three, we always need metal. I mean, that's kind of the center point of what we do is metalworking. We always need metal. So whether that be going just buying some basic bar stock, like quarter inch round bar at a hardware store, uh, three eighths round is always a good one, and half inch round and square is always very good. Having just general mild steel is great. That's a fantastic gift and is usually fairly cheap. You get uh, bar stock and round bar anywhere from three to eight bucks between your local hardware stores, True Value, Ace, whichever you have close available to you. But even scrap metal, we always love scrap metal as well. Like this here is an old rasp or file that a gentleman gave me. And he, well, actually he gave me a huge box of assortment of files and rasp. And it always comes in very handy having just metal around the shop because that's what we do. We work with metal, so we need it to be able to do what we do. So that's the next gift is scrap iron or even just basic round bar or bar stock that you could buy at your local hardware store. That's always a fantastic idea. Now for gift number four, this one is going to be another simple one that you can pick up at your local hardware store. Uh, I recommend um, Harbor Freight fantastic and that is hammers this here is a three inch or three pound excuse me three pound engineering hammer and with a little bit of sanding work to the back side here it makes a pretty good pretty decent peening hammer or cross peen hammer a little bit of sanding on the face smooth that out works as a good round face you can also pick up their two pound or two and a half pound mauls again with a little bit of sanding on the faces they turn into fantastic either flatting hammers or rounding hammers, but for 10 to 12 bucks, the Harbor Freight hammers or just your local hardware store hammers come in very handy, especially for those of us that are beginning. So that's gift number four, hammers. And now we're on to gift number five, and that is going to be tooling. So between punches, chisels, hardy tools are fantastic gifts. Uh, I know I really appreciate hardy, hole, uh, hardy tools. I've been starting to make my own but if you could get a decent set, you could find them on Amazon. You could find hot cuts, bending forks, different little jigs like that. Hardy tools are fantastic. 
But the easiest thing that you're probably going to come across is punches and chisels. So that's uh, number five gift, punches and chisels. Now, here's a bonus gift uh, I did number six, and that is ideas. If you have a project that you would like to have done, make sure to talk to your, local, to your blacksmith that you know that's in your family or a friend or whatever, and give them the idea. Ask if they could do it for you. Whether it be a simple keychain, some type of hook, uh, tent stakes, just small ideas go a long way in helping us be creative and come up with new ideas based on what you gave us. And it also gives us the practice by working for you. So ideas are a fantastic gift for the holidays. Give them a task. Give us something to do. Help our creative juices start flowing and help us get more experience. And so that's it for today. Those are five, or I should say six, great gift ideas for you to get the local blacksmith in your family or your friends group for this year for Christmas. I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas, and I hope this uh, gift idea uh, list came in handy for you guys. Stay classy. Party on.